Does it ever get to the point where you don't feel awkward and vulnerable talking about sex? I'm here with Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. I'm here with Kathy Bartoli of theintimacydojo.com sitting to my left. And he is wearing his green sexy summer camp t-shirt. Which usually means we're talking about business. Business yes. advice for sex educators. Yes. So as a sex educator, do you ever get to the point where you don't feel awkward and vulnerable talking about sexuality? And we were talking yesterday and I was saying how it still feels very awkward for me. Yeah. And you said... But I always feel awkward talking about it. And you've been teaching for how, 14, 15 years? Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, I was hoping at some point it would get so that it wasn't even feel awkward. And Why? Well. Why would you think that, Kathy? What's your lady in GCDojo.com? Well, when I talk about physics, I no longer feel super awkward. Okay. So, but I guess sexuality is something that our society in general doesn't talk about. And it's also... Is, is there such a thing called physics shame? Oh, of course. Really? Des actually, describe it. I think you're lying. What's physics shame, Kathy? Go. We, we would shame each other if we didn't know some basic fundamental... Like if, if we were talking about something and we were wrong, or like some... The, if we talked about van der Waals forces and they were like, no, you have it wrong. Okay, so being incorrect. Incorrect, yes. So the shame about being wrong mm -hmm. is very different than... I am a horrible human being for, for even wanting to know physics. Right. So, mm -hmm. is there shame around that when it comes to physics? Not that, that well, maybe a little around females knowing it from some some cultures, but in general not. Okay. It's actually kind of like, kind of cool in some cultures if you're not getting shoved in a locker. Got it. So there you have it. I would say it's very different. Yes. That's why you don't feel shame <laughs> when it comes to physics. Yes. And, and van der Waal. Van der Waal. Van der Waal uh, forces. Yeah. You blame a lot of things on Van der Waal forces. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> can you, like, when you go to teach, what do you experience when you say you feel vulnerable and awkward? Um, well, it's just like my shame around things will almost always be there somewhere. Mm -hmm. I can be excited. I mean, I, I'm, I have it in my bones now how empowering this information is. Mm -hmm but I still struggle with shame. I'm just very confident that it's probably always going to be there. So, mm -hmm. so I think that's also a very different feeling or state than what most people are experiencing when they say, I feel ashamed of sex. And I'm like, cause I'm like, me too. <laughs> I'm excited about it. And they're like, why are you excited? I'm like, cause like, this is what connects all of us. I've been teaching this stuff for, for more than a decade and I, I at least I'm excited about my shame because shame is, is the direction where, where my growth often lies. It really is, yeah. So I'm, I am re-patterning how I think about it, not necessarily how I feel when I'm feeling my shame. And as I practice being better and, and more present in, in my body and feeling my feelings, um, as that those muscles, uh, I exercise them and they grow, uh, what it means is I can lift more shame mm -hmm. in, in one curl, right? Like, so, so I feel more shame when shame comes up and I don't try to push it away. I, I feel it. So the, the, what's so weird about it, and it feels counterproductive, but it's not, is I'm practicing the ability to feel worse every time. I'm getting better at feeling worse. <laughs> Where that is a superpower is that it also means I can curl and bench press more joy and pleasure and excitement um, because the muscle groups are the same, feeling your feels. Uh, it's just that when I feel horrible, I feel more horrible. I feel more ashamed. Um, but I've repatterned that to be a good thing because I know that I'm also working through feeling that shame and my shame turnaround time is faster. So, so like it's always there, but it's, it doesn't take me over. Mm -hmm. Well, and I, I think that one of the things I've noticed about when you teach is people often feel very empowered in your space and they work through shame quite quickly. And I wonder if part of that is because 
you're not fighting your shame, you're just bench pressing it. I wonder if that, because I do yeah, notice that it, people... It's just being with it. Like, mm-hmm. and again, like weightlifting analogies, notwithstanding, like, like I'm just, I'm, I know I'm strong. I know that my shame won't break me. It might feel like it will. I have all the wiring from fifth grade that we're not supposed to be talking about this. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and now in culture, you know, me wrestling with being a cis white guy and privilege and also, you know, feeling ashamed that I'm super slutty and all the things that I am. Um, like, there's more there. There's more cracks for it all to kind of attack me in. But I just need to keep breathing and being like, oh, yeah, like, I have all the tools for this. Yeah. And feeling comfortable on a good day with feeling uncomfortable is something I've developed. So I can still, I can still feel this stuff, be present with my audience. And also mention to my audience, oh, just so you know, like what I'm saying to myself in my head right now is not nice because I'm feeling some shame. And I just thought I would mention that to you because maybe in your relationships or in bed one day, you'll have that happen and that's useful. And then the audiences are like, oh, like if, if the teacher is feeling it, then I must not be broken for feeling it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I love that. Great role modeling. I don't know what else to do because the, the, the other options seem to be to think you can't overcome all of it and if you don't then you're broken um, or hide it mm-hmm. which comes across creepy yeah I think yeah we're we'll trying to protect thank you for sharing you're welcome. we'd love to know what you think do you struggle with this or does it get easier how do you deal with any shame you have around teaching around sex